Hi everyone, my name is Monor. In previous videos, um, we saw how to install Oracle Grid Infrastructure um, and um, React database software using Ansible. Uh, in this section or in this video, I will go through um, creating Oracle Rag database using Ansible Playbook. So here Oracle GI and Rag 21C, this is my master playbook. And if you see here, then you will see that um, uh, I am calling roles. Uh, rag db21 secret so this is uh, for creating rag database so here you can see that um, host file has got uh, entries for orix1 which is node 1 and orix2 which is for node 2 let's see the tree structure for this playbook So here you see, let's go to the um, uh, variable files. So these are the variables um, that use throughout this um, uh, uh, for this testing. And now let's go to the main dot um, YML under tasks directory. So if you see here, uh, first one is um, debug module. So it's um, I'm using that one to display message, initial message, and then uh, next is a block module where I am calling multiple playbooks. So first one is rec twenty one C three DB soft check. You can see that one. Oh, that's under task directory. So if you see here, this is just mainly checking that binary has been installed or not. Next input task is in, uh, pre template create. So uh, this is mainly just to create um, all the um, uh, shell script that um, I am going to use after DB creation, for example, to uh, set the compatible, then to change the password file for particular users. Get response file.
next one is um, uh, uh, RagDB create this group so in my case I am just um, creating record this group just to make sure that um, the record this group is exist and enough disk capacity there so many disk capacity and disk group existence so if not then I am going to create a record this group So in next block, I'm going to uh, create um, a database and run some post database scripts and then validate. it. So let's see first one, uh, create rag database. If you see here, you see that I'm using DBCA and in silent mode using response file. So this response file, you can set up yourself based on your, you know, from uh, Oracle home and you modify and you set that up OSDB create section uh, mainly here you know setting that password file to ASM this group set compatible parameter And modify some user's password here see system and dbsnmp so this is just testing purpose so you can modify based on your own requirements so this is just uh, mainly to validate that um, database status because we change the compatible parameters so restarting cluster database so substitute command using that one uh, under shell module and then check the status database status cluster database status To execute playbook, we need to execute Ansible playbook, uh, dash playbook, and then uh, playbook name. In just uh, one execution, you just need to execute that one. But before that, you can check all the playbook individually you can use um, a step command uh, to go one after another you can use um, check and div command which i mentioned in my last video uh, on like oracle like database software installation so and when you are happy then you can combine all this together Yes, if you can use tag also like hmm, if that failed after some certain stage you can and uh, call that um, uh, tag and execute that playbook now oh, here it just it's a message because I'm ignoring if a record this group exists then ignore from there So now it's creating a database. Uh, I'll do pause here and I'll be back soon. Okay, I hope that output. Now here you see the output of the database creation.
So it's post part while um, I uh, modify or I put uh, to change the compatible parameter um, then change the password or modify password for users. So I have this only for testing purpose. So it is up to you what you want. You can test your uh, you know, individual playbooks and then combine together. Because I change compatible parameters, therefore I'm going to restart um, cluster database here. Okay, so here we can see the status that database instance EYMD1 is running node 1 and EYMD2 is running node 2. So the task is completed successfully without any issues. So here we have completed the creation of Oracle 21C Rack Container Database using Ansible Automation. Um, uh, I'll share my playbook uh, like um, Ansible, like GitHub link down. Um, so thank you, thanks for watching.